So for this video, I thought it would be a fun idea to react to some people's rankings of Game of Thrones' characters. Because from what I saw from some people's lists, there's some pretty wild opinions, and I thought it would be kind of fun to react to some of them. So starting out, we can do IGN, the top 100 characters of Game of Thrones. And, okay, we can just skip down, since I don't want to look through these, like, Will? At number one, he's not even a character, but okay. Hot Pie 84, how dare IGN. The god himself, how dare they. <laughs> Robert Brathian at 34, they do not appreciate this man. The celestial being himself would be shredding through the author of this article if he found out that he's at 34. The Night King at 32? Wait, he's not even a character, he's just an evil force. So how does the Night King beat out so many characters? Like, the Night King better? Then Robert Baratheon, and hold on, Robert Baratheon worse than Gregor Clegane? He doesn't even like have any lines. Okay, <laughs> what kind of terrible take is that? Oberyn all the way down at 28? To me that's very surprising due to how much of a fan favorite Oberyn is, but this is, this is really weird so far. Ramsay all the way down at 25? Ramsay is such a great villain, why would you put him so low? And Elena at 24? Elena Tyrell is such a fun character, and Diana Rigg who plays her does a magnificent job. So, this is already starting out pretty bad for IGN. Marjorie Tyrell at number 20. Uh, personally, I'm not a major fan of Marjorie Tyrell. I feel like her mother, Olena Tyrell, kind of always outshined her and was the one kind of behind the scenes, while Marjorie was kind of just doing her work on, like, Joffrey and Tommen. But regardless, though, Marjorie is still a good character. Theon? Pretty close to where I would put him. I'd probably put him at 21, so that's fine. Sandor the Hound Clegane at 17. Let's read the description. Let's look through the description really quickly. He is one of the most dangerous and feared men in Westeros, but his character arc is one of the most interesting. The Hound's journey towards redemption is one of the most compelling narratives of this series. Uh, that's a very big compliment to be putting him at 17, but alright. So off of that description alone, I'm kind of confused as to why they put him that low, but okay, let's move on. Br wait, oh, whoa, 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 okay, okay. What kind of dog shit take is this? Bran Stark over Olena, Ramsey, the Hound, even Bobby B. This character, the most boring character in the show. A kid who just gets pulled around and complains and bickers towards everyone and doesn't even say thank you to Mira is a top 16 character. Oh, what kind of terrible take is this, IGN? Every scene the Hound is in is entertaining as hell, but Bran? I'm over here falling asleep, foaming out my mouth. Okay, let's let's read the description. Why, what's their reasoning as to why Bran is in the top 16? His magical abilities offer a look into the more fantastical elements of the world. But it, that's kind of confusing because David and Dan utterly downplay his powers, so that doesn't make any sense. So right away, I, I don't agree with that whatsoever. I, I'm just gonna assume they stopped at season 6 and they didn't update this. But even then, season 6 brand does not compete for top 20 for me. Joffrey Baratheon. One of the best villains in the show. Top 15 to me is still a little low, but at least he's in the list. Some people just eat him out of it. Peter Baelish, 14, fine. Brienne of Tarth at 13. Now, she has a great concept, but I don't think there's a lot of great scenes that utilize her in a good way. Like, there's barely any good dialogue scenes with the character, and she spends a lot of time traveling around. Then I think she kind of peaks with Jamie, and after that point, I don't think she was ever as entertaining or engaging. And I can see why some people will still put her this high. Some people really love Davos since he's such a, like a wholesome and like lighthearted character. To me, he doesn't like outshine the like Joffrey Baratheons and like the really rich and complex characters. Sansa, along with Davos and Brienne, are all really divisive, but some people hate Sansa, some people absolutely adore Sansa and really were attached to her storyline. To me though, she's very passive through the first five seasons and doesn't really do anything to affect the story. She's just kind of being like thrown around by other characters. And in the later seasons, she mostly like becomes more independent. But by that point, the writing just turns into crap and she's always trusting Littlefinger for whatever reason. So I was never able to be that attached to Sansa in comparison to other characters. Catelyn Stark? at number 10. Now that's very high. Like, don't get me wrong, like, she's a good character, she made it onto my list. Beating out a lot of, like, other, like, 
main characters and like great side characters to me is kind of crazy. Ferris at 9 is fine. Tywin at number 8. I feel like most people watching my channel absolutely love Tywin and would put him in like the top 3 or even 5. At least IGN is putting him in the top 10. I'll give them that. Eddard Stark at number 7. Now that seems very high considering that he's only in one season in comparison to like Tywin. It has so much more going on for him. It's just a better character to me. Yeah, Jamie's like a top five contender, that's fine. Same thing with Arya, Cersei, Jon. I'm assuming Daenerys is about to come up because we haven't seen her. And, oh yeah, Daenerys, number two. I wouldn't put Daenerys this high above like Jon and Cersei and everything. And then Tyrion Lannister at number one. That's pretty much a very popular opinion because of how amazing Tyrion is as a character. So not like a terrible list, but... Uh, it's like kind of like 50% for me. There's some very bad picks like putting Bran at 16. A lot of these characters are like at least better than Bran, but all right, let's move on. Let's look at the rap. All 52 Game of Thrones main characters ranked. Viserys under Rickon. Okay, that's uh, Rob Stark over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Rob at 50. <laughs> okay. Whoa, <laughs> Stannis at 49. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically a stodgy, moralistic, Southern Baptist minister? I'm from Alabama, so I was extremely not pulling for him. <laughs> this is a very terrible start to the list. At least Bran's down here, but <laughs> Santa's at 50 almost. I was gonna go through all this. Ned at 45? Whoa, Joffrey at 44. <laughs> oh, but I'm starting to tear up, honestly. This is really bad. <laughs> How is Joffrey at 44? He's one of the best villains in the show. <laughs> this is rancid. I'm getting sick. My eyes are actually tearing up. I'm like having an allergic reaction to this dog shit. This pure vile. Like Tommen better than his jo jo Joffrey. <laughs> oh, oh, why do people shaft Robert Baratheon so much? Ramsey at 36. What? Joffrey and Ramsey. Somehow the most horrific character. Feels bad, Catelyn. Cat- Talissa? Talissa over Joffrey, Ramsey, Stannis, and Catelyn. What? Gilly? At 30? <laughs> Gilly better than Joffrey. Oh, I'm balding. My hairline is receding. The Hound? No. <laughs> Why is the Hound so low? At 27. Oh, Jamie at 26. This is terrible. Whoever wrote this list needs to be discarded from any community that has a mention of Game of Thrones. Can I make a joke about masturbating with your off hands? What? Tywin at 20. Okay. Who? Elaria sand better than Tywin. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is, this is really, oh, this is just triggering me. I just need to speed run through this list. Jon Snow at 20. Oh. <laughs> You're uncrangely better than all these. You're uncrangely better than Jon Snow and Jamie. They're trolling. Uh, Hodor, top 20. Hodor, great character apparently. Oh boy, let's. Yeah, Captain. Okay, this is just troll. Turn all the way at 14. Okay, let's just. Sunday. Oh my god. I. Kyburn, top 5. Grey Worm at number two. <laughs> I need to get out of this list ASAP. This is this is terrible. I don't know. Let's just go to the looper. Oh, I see it. Number 14, Bran. Why are people obsessed with Bran? I didn't expect this video to be this crazy. These lists are <laughs> atrocious. This list came out in 2021. They could very well be considering the later seasons of when Bran was utterly ruined. Let's look at their reasoning. This all sounds cool, but to be honest, Bran's story is a little boring. <laughs> but he's in the top 14? What? Bran becoming king is questionable. Bran has interesting moments, but overall, he's a bit of a dull character. What? So why is he here? Why is he- why am I looking at this? And then Cersei all the way at 13? Peter at 12, that's kind of where I put Peter, so, all right. Sandor at 11, that's fine. Catelyn at 10 again. People really like Catelyn. I guess she's a lot more liked than I thought. Jamie at number nine. I still think he should be higher than that, but hey. Theon, number eight. Again, divisive. Daenerys, 
Samwell over Jamie and Cersei. Now that's kind of shocking to me, considering that his character arc is pretty generic and his relationship with Gilly is kind of just bland. He never was like a great character in my mind. Like he's like fun and like charismatic. His relationship with Jon is really good, but top six worthy? Eh, I can't really agree with that. And then Bran at five over so many other characters I can't agree with. John at four, Sansa, pretty high. Again, people love or hate her. Tyrion at number two. Tywin better be at number one, or I'm gonna be very upset right now. Arya. So Tywin doesn't even make it on this list. They're saying Bran, the most dull character in the show, is better than Tywin. Okay, I'm out of here. All right, screen rant. Top 15 Game of Thrones characters. Screen rant's kind of popular. Tormund at 15, that's kind of high. I wonder who he's knocking out of the list to take the place. Sandor at 14, at least he made it. I would put him higher, but that's all right. Ser Jorah, pretty high for my standards. Samwell, most of these characters so far are pretty high to me. Brienne, at least they included Joffrey in the top 10. I'll give them that. Oh, never mind. I'm retracting. Why do people love Bran so much? Like, this is a screenshot of season eight, so they must be considering all the seasons. He might be the new king, but unfortunately, he's far from the best character in Game of Thrones. Literally everyone who has Bran in their list is ragging on him. They're saying that he's not a good character, but yet he's in here. These lists just feel fake. What? How, are they, how is this a ranking of the best characters when they're just shitting on them? Are they just including him because he's a main character? Daenerys at 8. I think that's where I put her. Cersei. Jon. Jamie. Everyone keeps putting Sansa on top five. I must just be in the minority. Arya. Theon at number two. I don't know, Theon like for half of the show was just being like tortured and going through the reek arc. Acting wise was really good, but character wise and arc wise wasn't that entertaining because of how repetitive it was. But like season two Theon was great. And that's really the best he was in my opinion. And then turn to number one. So again, another list that does not have Tywin Lannister on it. <sighs> Where's my Tywin Lannister love? But yeah, I think that was a good amount of lists to go through, and I'll end it here. Thank you guys for watching, and if this video does well, I'd be down to do more reaction videos.